Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery returning to your screen yet again. Today we're going to talk about uh, notices, notices under the contract. Uh, there are notices of suspension you need to be aware of, how do you do extension of time notices, notices for a change in scope, a whole host of notices under more formal contracts. Now, the first problem that contractors get themselves into is they don't know what situations require a notice and the contract will tell you that. You need to be across that. How many types of notices are there and under which situations do I have to create one and send one to my client? The other point you need to be aware of is what is the content of these notices. Now, a more involved contract will actually itemise what needs to be in the notice. If it's a suspension notice, what information does your client need in order to consider the contents of it and either approve or reject it. So you need to know what contents have to be in these notices. Finally, you need to know when to send the notice and who to send it to. Um, you need to send it to the correct person or the correct fax number or the correct email address as set out uh, in the contract. So the reason this is very, very important is because so many payment disputes end with the client saying, well, you never told us, or you never told us in time. The contract gives you three business days to tell us uh, if a variation has arisen and you didn't do that. Or, well, you know, your uh, suspension notice needs to be rendered to us within two business days of an event occurring and so on. You need to be across what gives rise to the requirement for a notice under your contract, you need to know what has to be in the contract, uh, be in the notice, so the content of each notice. And you need to know where and to whom to send the notice. So be across those, it's not too hard, you need to review the contract carefully, be across all the different types, and know in advance all those situations that will require you sending a notice to your client. If you can be across that, it sends the message that you understand the contract and it also shuts down a whole area of non-payment that might be lurking just to come and sneak up on you in three months time. So please be wary, it's not a minor administrative matter, it's actually a major thing that'll help you get paid a lot faster and a lot more. I'll see you next time.